Oh, you know why? Because I'm still paying off my iPad. No, that's not why. Because there's Apple Bill, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Taco Bell, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Smoothie, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Smoothie. Oh, how? Tropical Smoothie, $17? What are the dates on these? This is every day she's spending 20 bucks on smoothies? No joke. What's good advice for someone in their late 20s that's never been in debt or built credit? Literally no idea what to do. Listen, okay? Are you ready? Here's the real black pill. Hi, I'm Adriana Lee. I'm 23 years old. And she did a second one of these. Bro, listening her to her first financial thing was unbelievable. Oh my God. She's got legal bills now. Hi, I'm Adriana Lee. I'm 23 years old and I- Okay, we'll watch 10 minutes of this on 2X speed, okay? I'm just curious. Capital of Wyoming is Cheyenne. Cheyenne and its population is 5K. Probably could become a governor with 5K DGGers moving in. I'm a work from home Chad. I move in. Why don't you take over a capital? Bro. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Holy sh Wait, what if you had like a YouTuber? How many people would I need to get to work from home move to Wyoming to be elected as like mayor of a city? <laughs> and then we could all just like vote for policies. That would be wild. This is uh, just gonna be like any other financial audit other than I'm going in more blind. I like to go in blind on follow up to see just how you've done. Now, I am in a little bit of pain as the Apple card, which is like, I don't have to look very hard to see what this is. $7,160 on Apple card. Gee, wait, how much was it before? Last time there was like a weird tax situation of just not oh. paying taxes, saving up for taxes, and then you're in a lot of debt. Yeah, she hasn't paid any of the tax yet, guaranteed. Ready? Here we go. And you were yeah. spending so much money on just you, just like bad stuff. Yeah, that is true. But I have done my taxes. You did your taxes. Oh, yeah. you did your taxes. How yeah. was that? Wait, wait. Good. Did them or did them and paid them? It was a little bit confusing, um, but and it cost a lot of money to get done. But yeah, that's okay. Because they're finally done. You paid CPA to do it. Mm. Cool. How are we preparing for the next year? Are you paying quarterly? No. Oh, okay. But I probably should. I don't know yes. too much about. If she it. says, oh, she must have paid it off then. Good for her. Okay. Good job. Taxes. Well, how many years have you been claiming this as your, uh, you know, primary income and everything? Um, your Twitch streamer. Yeah, I'm a Twitch streamer. Link in the description. Um, but I also stream on Kick and I post oh, okay. on every social media. I'm like an influencer, like everywhere, I guess. So. And uh, not uh, what was it called? It's not Fansly. No, fan it's, it was Fan House, but it recently shut down, which was a little bit of a crisis for me. Um, but it rebooted as passes, so it's the same thing, but it's just under a different name. Okay. How much money so. are you bringing in on average on a monthly basis right now? Um, let me put my phone out Holy because fun. I have my. It's really like mm, because May is when I first when we filmed the last mm. one, and I made in total because I also have other streams of income. Um, six thousand seven hundred sixty-nine dollars, and then in June. I was balling a little bit. I made ten thousand four hundred and eighty-four dollars. Very nice. But then in July, cool. I made four thousand. What happened? So what happened? What happened? Stop working. No, no, no. Where the income source get hit the most? Well, in July, this, I still fan house is still a thing. It's just um, sometimes like we'll have people like as a content creator, you'll have like people who want to support, oh, you know, um, and then they'll like go away, like they'll show up, drop a big donation if it's yeah. like on Twitch. Advice, okay. Every single like cam girl or fansly or fan house, every single. Almost every single woman that I've talked to that does um, adult content or sexy work, whatever content creation, okay? Listen to me, okay? I know some of you are listening to me right now, okay? I know you listen. Some of you DM me on Instagram, okay? Which I appreciate, by the way, okay? Um, listen to me, okay? Open your f***ing brains, okay? Every, like, sex worker-ish girl does this thing where I'll be like, oh, uh, how much money do you make? And they're like, oh, you know, various months, month. I'm like, oh, cool. Um, like, how are you financially? Oh, I know I got a lot of that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, well, what's going on? Like, uh, like, what did you make last month? They're like, oh, well, last month I made $7,000. And I'm like, okay, well, that's pretty good. Um, like, is that like per day that you make like 100, 200 bucks a day? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Um, like last month I posted like two or three really good things. And I made a ton of money um, on like the second week. I made a over like if they're strippers those are like two saturdays or a couple weekends uh if they do sex content they like oh, i posted a video or whatever. what happens all the time with these girls i don't know why and it's probably actually guys probably do it in some other kind of cover work too maybe contractors is you guys will post content you get a lot of money and then once you feel like you made a lot of money for the month you stop <laughs> why don't do that okay so many of them will post they make a lot of money that one month and then they stop posting Oh, Emmy is in chat. Do you do this too? Yeah, don't do that. Keep post through your gains and keep making money. Keep posting and keep making money. I don't know why, but they'll, they'll post, they make a money on like the third, and then they don't post for the rest of the month. And then their bills rolling like, oh God, like I need to do this. Yeah, don't do that guys. Jesus, keep posting. Or show a lot of support on Fan House and then they like disappear. And if you want support, I'm not asking for money. I'm just asking to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 750,000 subscribers. Let's go. Yeah, but didn't you say you're not streaming? I've, you know, I've, I've thought about streaming. I'm trying to justify, um, especially if it's like Twitch. Uh, you know, I could stream on YouTube. I'm not as educated on that, but if I stream on Twitch, you know, it's a 50 50 split. And I know the time, you know, versus the money. Mm -hmm. Like, plus, oh, my team's already working, you know, full hours. Yeah. More, I don't know. I, I love connecting with the audience in different ways. We're trying to get up this way to do That's so why I stream on Kick, because you get 100% of what you make. 
I struggle with the gambling aspect. Yeah, but you don't you have to gamble. No, I know. I know. I don't is, gamble. This is, I'm a little torn on that. Torn, yeah. torn. So Twitch, you said gambling. 100% either way. I know, well, their owners gamble. Oh, okay. Well, again, torn. I'm not, I'm not like anti, <laughs> but I'm also not pro. We won't, we won't get like, into the, the Twitch versus Kickback. No, sure. Because I'm honestly just not really educated on it because it's not my platform anyway. But yeah. so the, of the income sources that come in, what took the hit that decreased your income by 50% that month? I was serious about boobs being different per month thing. Your, I mean, your boobs are not that different per month, okay? You're, the problem is you're a girl. Therefore, you by default have body dysmorphia, okay? And so you're seeing yourself differently, okay? I think your boob size probably changed a bit throughout your cycle, but it's not going to significantly bounce from month to month unless you're losing a f or gaining a f weight. Or unless they're fake and you're getting your implants swapped out every month, okay? Um, fan house? Yeah. Okay, so fan house dropped by like 5,000 subscribers? If I'm mad, they get bigger. <laughs> okay, based. Or $5,000? Well, yeah. In terms of okay. like, and I took a vacation that month, so I wasn't really like working because I took like a week long vacation to Mexico, um, which was paid for by a family friend. So um, that's another reason I was like away from my computer all the time. I wasn't really like. Wait, what, she went on a vacation? Okay, so Fan House dropped by like 5,000 subscribers. Hold on. Or 5, well, yeah. Warning, warning, warning. Okay. I have 10,700 viewers right now. Okay. I need a thousand of you to leave. All misogynists need to leave right now. Okay. Because nothing will turn a misogynist into a school shooter quicker than watching a pretty girl talk about her financial issues that never, ever, ever seem to catch up to her, <laughs> okay? Please, if you're a misogynistic, I need you to leave the stream right now, okay? All misogynists turn off stream, all right? Dollars? Mm -hmm. In terms of okay. like, and I took a vacation that month, so I wasn't really like working, because I took like a week long vacation to Mexico, um, which was paid for by- A week vacation? Oh, that's so long, bruv. Family friends, so um, that's another reason I was like away from my computer all the time. I wasn't really like staying on top of like replying to people or streaming or whatever. I, vacations are good, and I think everyone in normal times are vacations. Yeah. And we're doing like a week vacation here shortly. But mm -hmm. like, am I gonna be really on vacation? Also, bro, I got so many tips. Okay, listen, if you're a sex worker or some bullshit, okay, take pictures everywhere you go. Make people take pictures of you. Okay, it's good to have like a big backlog of like pictures that you've taken, and then you and then you get practice taking pictures. You see your body in different circumstances. You can have um, yeah, it's like good to have a catalog of shit that you can post when you go on vacation. Do this, okay, all the time. Sorry to say, I think when you're in the social media space, content creator space, I unfortunately don't think in the grind mm -hmm. that there are vacations. That's and I'm, to, like, I'm not saying that as like, I want you to work, you have to work. I'm just being a realist as of being in this position. Oh, I know. And I, I've had like videos scheduled during my vacation yeah. because I try to keep YouTube consistent at least. Um, and like my reels, obviously, because I do Instagram reels. It's like my main short form content that does well. Okay. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. So then we went to August. August, August was also 4,500. That's not a good trend. But then... Recently, yeah, September, how's September been so far? Um, I've made nine thousand. Well, um, yeah, I can try a bit like him. But Very I, good. Where was the bounce up? Where but I also from? have um, like contracts that I can't really talk about right now mm -hmm. with certain platforms, and I'm also. Oh. Um, Hi. Oh, what is this? Pork. Does that mean it's like a shot, like liquor? No, 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 no. Just it's it's a it's a wine. It's a sweet wine. Am I supposed to shot it? Why no, you giving me like a sip. a sip? Just take a sip. I gave you. This a is a sip, so I drink the whole thing. No, no just take a sip. I just didn't give you a full glass because I assumed you took your medicine. No. Ah. No. Ah. No. Ah. Ah. There we go. No, sir. I can drink it all if you want. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so fing gross. I hate all wine though, like, and it's not just you, okay? Ah. What's that called? Port. Port. Okay. Ah. All right. Ma doing like contract work as well, and so what, would it, what made up the additional five thousand though this month so far? So four thousand last month. Um, so passes. Okay, so mm -hmm. now that that's back up and running, people mm -hmm. have converted pretty well to yeah, and uh, my contract supporting. work. So which I can't say because I already asked. Okay. I asked I'm like, oh, am I allowed to talk about this? And they're like, no. No, no, no. Like, we don't have to say who it is or okay. what it is. Are you allowed to say financially what you might benefit? Yeah. Um, like my contract work. Destiny, random thought that the decolonization slash river of the sea thing from Musk, he recently said true to an insane post about Jews, insane from the right, and a lot of big advertisers have pulled back. This could be you know, weird maneuvering in response to that. Oh, no, no, the Irk, that's why I said, is he doing this because of the weird shit that he said earlier? Yeah, Musk was tweeting true on like some unhinged on, um, on, on Twitter. But honest to God, um, clip me, hold on. I've been taking way too many Ws recently, okay? So clip me here. I, honest to God, I don't think Elon Musk is anti-Semitic at all. I don't think he hates Jews at all. Uh, I think that Elon Musk is actually just like really retarded and he wants to be part of like the anti-woke movement. And sometimes that results in him liking tweets that are like anti-Semitic, but he actually has no f***ing idea like what he's actually doing. That's just my feeling. I could be totally wrong. It might be that Elon Musk actually is like into some of this like far alt-right 
like replacement theory or whatever but i honestly got i think he's just retarded i think he sees it as like some intellectual dark web shit and he's like oh shit. like oh my god a lot of the banks are ran by jews the f like oh shit. you're speaking true facts here that's my handle on it i could be wrong but yeah oh yeah and he hates like the adl and like all these other things too right yeah he's like adult sneako <laughs> yeah that i have right now i make at least a dude elon musk and donald trump broke my brain with my assumptions that like if you're a billionaire you got to be pretty smart at least on some that you must be if you're a billionaire right trump and yeah trump and musk broke my broke my spiritual back on that belief jesus thousand dollars extra a month okay and then um it's not very much hopefully it's not using a ton of your time though. and i'm doing a partnership with passes as well oh good so oh that's good so, yeah. so it's been about it's been like six months what Why, it's, it's been like six, six months huh? it was may last time i was here May is not six months. Okay, it's been like four months. Yeah. Four or five months. And also I moved, so I- Well, you still four or five months. Why is this credit card- No, listen to me. Before we get into this, I moved. And you know how much- Everyone moving, moves. I've moved every know. single year of my life since I've left high school. Jesus, how old are you? Wait. Oh, not since high- Okay, because I was gonna say, I've moved every year the past five years. But also I'm a, okay, I'm a cool dude. Caleb's moved every single year since high school? That's crazy. That feels like a lot. The average person I think moves seven different times in their life. Really? Yes. Don't you hate it? Yes. Why well, ex except stay? for when I was in my condo, that well, was the first time where I stayed somewhere for more than a single year. Yeah, but you like own your places. And yeah, well, that's only recently. And still, for ten years though, since living in my house, every single year I moved at least once. Jesus. Okay, because moving with like, like having to pay like the first and last month rent, mm -hmm. and then the security deposit, and then I have cats with so a pet deposit, and then you have to. I hired movers to help me move. You didn't have to. Oh, you didn't have to hire movers. Though. I did. Why? Because I'm only me. You have friends here. I know you have friends here. I'm seeing your bro. You have so many friends. Why would you hire movers? Friends here on yeah, Friday you've or Saturday. Seen my cute Friday. little girlfriends around here, they're not going to lift stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, are girls like literally incapable of moving something? Do you have like a fucking like lead table or what, what can you not move? <laughs> and you know you have. You haven't seen my any buff muscular men gonna, unless you were talking You to didn't me. ask me. I'm not buff or muscular. Wait, but you didn't you even try ask to me. help me move? Well, no, but you didn't exactly. ask. Exactly. I know you you you're busy and my other guy friends are I'm busy. busy and fat, but you could have asked. Yeah. I would have appreciated no. and asked. I'm not going to. Well, I feel bad asking for help. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. But, okay, 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 okay. Yes, <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. And that's why we have money to be able to pay it. Even still, after five months, you know, we talked about having savings on the side, stuff like this, you know, getting like a one month emergency fund, all those lovely things, yeah. of which can help. Do you actually think OnlyFans titty streamer girls are going to move furniture? No, but at that point, you should be leveraging your OF titty shit. She's a, well, hold on. I was gonna say she's a cute girl. She could just put out a tweet and get guys to help, but the problem is then they'd know your address afterwards. Um, let's see, how would you do this? I'm trying to think of how you could abuse your status as a cute girl to get people to help you move. I feel like you'd have to do, I feel like it'd have to be through a boyfriend, but then he would know where you live. Hmm. Usually you can abuse cute girl status for things like drugs or connections or whatever, but Involving your address, I think it's too. I think it's too scary. I wouldn't do it. Never mind. I don't think you can do it. Yeah, I don't think you can do it. Uh, can help offset that. Okay. Yeah. You did not do. I had saving. I had more savings than I do in this pile, but I used them to pay my because I had to pay double rent for one month. Yep. So, so I, told, yep. I had to use it. Which, okay, perfect. Like, that's what I, if uh, expense like that comes up, that'd be good, but why is the credit card, why are we Destiny, that's bullshit. Hiring professional movers is worth it instead of asking friends, and it's not that expensive unless you literally want them to pack or take all the small shit. What? My understanding is, I don't think I've ever used professional movers in my life. Um, my understanding of, I, I don't know if it's like this in all places, if you're working class, okay, whatever job, whatever bullshit job you work has a ton of boxes in the back. That's always true. If you work at a store, they unload shit in the back in their boxes. If you work at a restaurant, they've got boxes that the food comes in. You grab a bunch of the boxes, you tell the dumps people, don't throw that shit out. You tell all your coworkers who work a shift with you, I'm ordering pizza on Friday, Saturday. I lived in the Midwest, so at least seven assholes have trucks. You come over, eat pizza, hang out, get some beers, and then you move shit. Um, that's how you do it for like 200 bucks, okay? paying movers that's like some upper middle class shit or that's like you've got like a ton of furniture what, what are you how many 22 year olds out here have like enough furniture that a professional mover has to be involved is that real does that happen commonly fuck that like pro movers are nice but like i feel like for pro movers i'm i'm pulling numbers not i'm not pulling out the ass because i look from this my guess is going to be is if you're hiring professional movers i think you're spending probably at least two grand no at least in, in terms of like taking all the shit from your house, putting it in a truck, and then taking all the shit from the truck to the other house and then dropping it off. Unless, the only thing I can think of, the only thing I can think of, people are saying one grand. The only exception to that I can think of is if you literally pack and move all the small stuff. Hold on, wait, somebody said I, I just, what? I just did it, I can tell you. Yeah, but usually like multi-state. 
no, I'm talking about from Tampa to here. Oh, Tampa to here. How much did it cost you? If I did the full move where they pack their truck and move everything, it was going to be 3800 for a one-bedroom apartment. Okay, 4000 one-bedroom apartment if they packed and moved everything. Right, and that's just for a four-hour drive. Four-hour drive, okay. For them to just come and pack everything, what, and I did a significant amount of packing myself, that was two hours of work, it was $650. Like, some movers could be super fucking expensive. Wait, why did you say it was six hundred fifty dollars? Wait, what? Six hundred fifty because I ended up driving myself. Oh, you drove so yourself. Three hundred was them to do a full move, four hour drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I think if you if you're trying to move and you actually have real shit to move, uh, my suggestion would be uh, pack and put everything you can into a car that you can move on your own, and then for larger items, um, for larger items, you find um, uh, you can rent a U-Haul. And then you can pay people off of, I think, TaskRabbit to like load it into the truck. And then you might be able to pay the same people as somebody else when you get to the house to unload it off the truck and then put it in the rooms. One thing I'd say is make sure like whoever you hire has insurance. Like I wouldn't do TaskRabbit for that reason because the movers I had fucked up bad and I'm fighting them for some shit. Oh, damn. Ivan Preach says 4K is insane. I paid 1.2K for a two hour drive for a full house and lots of furniture, one move. You're either on some <laughs> affirmative. No, no shop. That's not real. And Canadian money too? No. That's unless like Canada subsidizes the movers industry or some shit in Canada. No shot are you doing that for a 1.2K. I looked up a ton of movers prices or everything. There's no shot for 1.2K unless it's literally like just one bed in the back of a truck you're moving or something. No shot. Destiny, I use movers, it's like 500 max for a two bedroom. I paid 800 last time and they packed my shit, took my bed apart, unpacked my shit and reassembled my bed for $500 for a two bedroom? For some reason, movers are not that much in Ontario. I've moved about six times. Hold on, I'm straw pulling it. Oh, I'm so curious. Hold on, because we got a lot of people in chat saying they can do this for cheap. Okay, I'm just curious, okay? How much would it cost to um, move, we'll say pack slash move, a two bedroom apartment, a one hour drive away, and to unpack um, and place furniture, okay? When I say pack, I'm not referring to like all the gizmos and gadgets around, I just mean like to disassemble the bed, take it apart, blah, 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 okay? I'm curious what, what you guys think this would cost, okay? Answer one is gonna be, we'll say zero to $500. Option two is we'll say 500 to 1,000. We'll say 1,000 to 2,000, um, and then we'll say 2,000 plus. Pisco says it's crazy expensive, it took me 5K to move everything. Sure, but you're in a place that's expensive. Use crackheads, I'm not even joking. They'll load and unload everything. Obviously not the most expensive, small shit that can be stolen. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Huh. I wonder if I should have broken this 1,000 to 2,000 down a bit. I did exactly this and was quoted a little over 2K, but found a company to do it for 1K. You also primed it by saying what you thought it would be. True, but also the audience hates me, so I could have primed it against me. Cost me nothing. I borrowed a truck from work and lent on my brothers and friends to help. Shouted them all to BBQ at my new place. Okay. I paid movers 2K for them to spit in my mouth. Okay, we'll revisit this combo in the future, all right? Okay. 7,162 horrible death I dollars. It. That's in my snowball, that one's next. So what, walk us through where you've been in the last five months in your journey then. Um, I paid off three of my cards out of five and that's one of my biggest cards and it's not paid off yet. It's my second to last snowball. Mm -hmm. And do you have a one month emergency fund currently? No, but I have half a month. I get to a month because it's just risky. It's okay. dangerous because it will actually, I, I have, Eventually, I want you to be like a nine to 12 month emergency fund because you're like a business owner and on yeah. the content creation side, it's so ebb and flow that you've seen. So I want, that's like, that's what I have. And I want mm -hmm. you to have that as well so that you're safe on the side. I want you to at least have a one month emergency fund before we start aggressively paying off debt. Okay. Oh, also. Wait, um, can somebody tell me real quick, what is the point of a one month emergency fund? Or what is the point of like an emergency um, fund? In case you lose your job? Yeah, but I'm trying to think of like, if you're floating, if you're floating debt at 30% interest, woo! If you're floating debt at 30% interest, is it really worth, if we're, t if we're thinking in a really roundabout way, would it be worth it to take, here's a question. Would you take a $5,000 loan and hold on to that $5,000 loan indefinitely um, to have an emergency fund at 30% interest? Would you ever do that? Like, that seems insane to me, right? 
I, I feel like you would never hold. I feel like if somebody, let's say somebody had zero dollars and somebody's like, listen, I'm gonna give you a $5,000 emergency fund, but you gotta pay 30% interest on it, okay? But at least it's an emergency fund. Would you ever do that? I feel like I feel like the majority of emergencies can be solved with a credit card. Like if your tire breaks, hospital stuff, like you can use a credit card. I don't know why you would ever, yeah, I don't know why you'd ever do that. Destiny can't imagine falling off. Yeah, never mind. You're not understanding. Sorry, f I have to walk through like 20 basic financial concepts here. I don't even know if I want to talk about it now. Never mind. I don't want to go into all of it. Look up interest and suck my dick. I don't care. Never mind. Okay. Um, these retards you were talking about, and you think they'll leave that balance paid off? Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know why you would ever have an emergency fund or, or liquid savings when you've got 30% plus APR debt outstanding. That just sounds like it's not worth it to me. But I could, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a rationale that Caleb has for it that I don't know, um, that I don't know about. It could be. I wanted to mention, I also spent a lot of money recently on furniture to furnish my house. You did not have to do that. Um, Hold on. One month if your car breaks down, water heater explodes, etc. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, then putting the emergency on a card will carry a balance. Yeah, but she's already carrying a balance. She's already doing that. She's, that's already happening, right? What? I want to hear from you because I saw your financial audit and you finance all your finances. Yeah, because I can afford it though. Yeah, but you know why I finance? Nice I'm not against furnish. financing. Financing is a great tool for those who can leverage it. I yeah. use it because instead of dropping fifteen down fifteen thousand dollars in the moment, I invested it and I'm paying it off before the zero percent kicks in. You, we are in bad credit card debt with interest accruing. Just dealt with a tax situation. Have a half. Because if I had to guess, if Caleb was responding, is he in chat? Sometimes he's in my chat. I've seen him before. My guess would be Caleb would probably say um, these people don't have the discipline to even have that credit card uh, balance available or that credit card line of credit available, um, and they can't save their money anyway. So. Or no, they, they must save their money. Or maybe he would say they just they don't have the credit. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't even know. Actually, I don't know what they would say. Of a month emergency because if you pay the money off on the card, now you can't f up because that money's gone. But if you're holding that money in an emergency account, here's something that I could see happening. If you're financially retarded, okay, I could see you holding five thousand emergency savings. Then you're like, oh, I need to move, and you're like, oh, well, my move was an emergency fund. So now you spend two thousand dollars moving plus another two thousand dollars on a security deposit. Like, oh, there's my emergency fund. Now you've taken four thousand dollars from your emergency fund. You've paid it to move, right? But the question is, is did you need to move at four thousand dollar thirty percent APR? Did you need to do that? Did you need to take it because what you've effectively done because you've killed that four thousand that could have gone towards the higher interest debt. Now you've essentially taken, in effect, a four thousand dollar loan at thirty percent interest to move. Did you need to do that right away? You could have waited a few months. That's why I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I, you know, maybe he's got another rationale. Half of a month emergency okay. fund, and you went and got furniture. That, by the way, you hired movers to move furniture. So did we really? Oh wait, go is that exactly what she did? I'm sorry. It sounds like that's exactly what she did. She used her emergency fund to move. I used yeah. it because instead of dropping fifteen down fifteen thousand dollars in the moment, I invested it, and I'm paying it off before the zero percent kicks in. You. We are in bad credit card debt with interest accruing, just dealt with a tax situation, have a half of a month emergency fund, situation. half of a month emergency okay. fund, and you went and got furniture that, by the way, you hired movers to move furniture, so did we really need to go, like, yeah. uh, why do we need new furniture though? Because you furniture I went from a, a small two bedroom to a house. Okay, why so we wait till we're out of debt to get furniture? It's a want though, the extra it furniture, you had, you had the furniture you needed. I guess so. Yeah. But I wanted other furniture, and, and I've been a little, I've been savvy about it. Because I- Too savvy, what is this? You've I, gone from 6,800 to $67 of your previous okay. balance to now 7,482, a card that's supposed to be snowballed, but you're adding money to it. How? You went from 6,800 oh, to Oh, you know why? Because I'm still paying off my iPad. No, that's not why, because there's Apple Bill, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Taco Bell, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Smoothie, Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Smoothie. Bro, poor people, how? Tropical smoothie, $17? What are the dates on these? Is this every day she's spending 20 bucks on smoothies? <laughs> some big cartel thing and, okay, lemon insurance, that's fine. Then Apple Bill, Tropical Smoothie, Apple Bill, Apple Bill, Starbucks, Apple Bill, Apple Bill. What are these Apple Bills? $10, $15. $10. What are the Apple Bills? Steak.com? What is? They're, probably, they're like Apple Pay, swiping out, using, buying stuff online with the Apple. Does Apple, if you swipe a card using, um, your phone, does that just come up as Apple Pay? I thought it would come up as wherever the card is used on the phone. Credit card. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. You made it sound, and this is the first time I'm seeing this page okay. and there's a hair stuck in my tongue, I apologize. This is my first time looking at this page. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know this was coming, but I was feeling it coming. But you ha you set up the expectation. This is an you okay. That was like, what do you mean? Of course, we're looking at your most recent 30 day statement. You can't just yeah. change things for two days and call it good. I can't diet for two days and say I'm on a diet. I and I'm doing well. I actually do have something for you. Here. I think you like it. <laughs> but you spent money on this. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. I land Fort Lauderdale and paid two Hispanics $600 to move all the furniture in our two bedroom condo, placing to assembly and assembly. Good job. Ugh. She has an Apple credit card. I don't want the other one. I got some for myself. <laughs> um, one chicken and one steak. 
7 Eleven. I guess I should see what this actually tastes like. I've never had one. You've never had 7 Eleven? No. Really? They're so good. They are pretty good. Okay, it's delicious, and I would destroy the whole thing. <laughs> see? Are they not worth it? No, not when you're in debt. What if you're hungry? Then you make a well, I actually sandwich. did make a sandwich working here. It was with cheese and spinach and onion. Mark Cuban explaining your point. 10, it could be 100. But, you know, let's use 50. First thing I would do is pay off all your credit cards because that's costing you 18%. That's what John and Sally should do. <laughs> 18%? Bruv, what is the average interest? Average interest credit card debt. I don't even think I get 18% on cards. How, what is the, is that even, the average credit card interest rate in America today is 24.56%. 18 18% on a, on a card? How do I see what my APR is? That's insane though. Sorry, maybe it was lower 11 years ago. I doubt it, but, but that's, yeah first most don't right there's more credit card and student loan debt um, relative to personal income than there's ever been in the history of the United States second thing you do is you use the transactional value of cash a lot of people say you know you're losing money to inflation when you just have cash in the bank I completely disagree I can you know I know I'm gonna be buying a bunch of toothpaste for my family I know toilet paper I know all the consumables that I have I can take my cash and go get a better value I can take my cash and go my store store up yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, how much space does toothpaste take, you know, but you're going to spend, <laughs> but that's the whole thing. The time it takes just to figure out your budget, yeah. which nobody does. The time yeah. it takes just to analyze your- No joke, what's good advice for someone in their late 20s that's never been in debt or built credit, literally no idea what to do? Listen, okay? If you have a job, 401k match, three to 6%, always take your maximum 401k match. Any other person that tells you differently is lying to you. Number one, okay? No, hold on. I have like, these are like golden financial rules. I would fight any billionaire financial plan, anybody to the death on these, okay? I will debate these to the grave. Always take your maximum 401k match every single time. Number one. Number two, most likely you should always be contributing the max to your IRA, traditional or Roth, whatever situation is more appropriate to you. Um, probably whatever the one that is, um, no, it would depend on the situation where you're at in your career. That's, that's like more complicated. But IRA, always max your IRA, okay? Number one. Number two. Um, number three, never, ever, ever, ever float a credit card balance. There is no reason ever to do it. Do not float a credit card balance. If you have, you should have credit cards because points are awesome, okay? But find out what the good credit cards are. I think the Chase Chase ones tend to be good. I think I've got the, like this Chase preferred some cuck bullshit, some awesome shit actually, <laughs> okay? Chase is good, there are, there, are other, um, <clears throat> there are other credit cards that people like or whatever. Find out what the good credits are. You should be using credit cards, okay? Because the points are awesome and why would you not get them if you're buying shit anyway? But do not ever, do not ever float a balance. Um, also, stay away from predatory loans. Payday loans, cash advance loans, anything where you're post-dating a fucking check. I don't even know if that's legal anymore. <laughs> Man, that might just be from my generation or from the gen, or from the gen Xers, actually. Um, do not do any sort of weird loan shit like that. If you can't afford it, then you can't afford it, okay? Don't buy it, okay? Um, another thing is... Do not treat credit cards like money, okay? You do not have that money. If you've got $500 in the bank and a $10,000 line of credit, you do not have $10,500. Fix this into your mind because so many middle class, lower class, whatever class, bourgeois, petite, whoever, capitalist, whatever the f so many f retards think that the total amount of money available to them extends to all of the lines of credit available to them. That is not true, okay? You do not have the money that is part of your allocated line of credit. Don't think that way. Um, yeah, that's my like basic golden whatever four or five. Oh, if you want another one, make a budget, okay? Make a budget, make a budget, make a budget, make a budget, make a budget. Always make a budget, okay? Trying to be financially managing your shit or whatever without making a budget is like trying to lose weight without counting calories, okay? Make a budget. Um, fuck, there was one more thing, but I don't remember it. What does flow to balance mean? That means that when you buy something on your credit card, you pay it off at the end of every single month. Not pay the minimum payment, not pay the whatever, pay off the total balance. Pay off the total balance every single month. Pay the whole thing off. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. Good luck. Your spending habits, you can get a better return and you'll end up with more cash than- Okay, I don't care about this. And, and, and me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you make the sandwich you want to make. But you also went to Starbucks. You know, all these $10, $15, $9, $9, $5, $17, all these Apple things. So I don't even know what they are. And I don't know. That's bad. That's bad. And I know. But guess what? Because you're going every single second of your life. I also um, been tracked. Kick to it. Yeah. I also have been. Um, I canceled. Well, I canceled a lot of subscriptions too. Elastic. These are not all subscriptions, though. Some, I thought maybe they some were. Some are. 
Yeah, but like, unless you- I've heard in the UK, if you do that and can afford to do that, your credit actually gets better. Okay, listen, I can't speak to other countries. Everything I say is about the United States, okay? Some people have myths about credit building. Ignore them, okay? Some people will talk about some cuck bullshit called a uh, credit utilization rate. And they'll say some retarded shit to you like, well, actually, the optimal utilization of your credit is around 30%. So you should seek to utilize approximately 30% of your credit in order to show that you're worthy, uh, a worthy lender and to build credit. Bullshit! Don't do that. That's for retards and tools and losers, okay? Your credit utilization should be at fucking zero, okay? The only two things in life that you should be taking out loans on are one is most likely a house for sure, and two is maybe a car, okay? House for sure, maybe a car, nothing else, okay? If you ever find yourself financing things that are less than $1,000, decolonize your mind. Go to Canada and sign up for their extended, okay, end of life services because it's time to check out your moron do not finance phones or finance all these other things because usually they come with massive fees attached they've got interest all this bullshit if you understand how zero percent interest works for 12 months if you understand how that works then you can do that but don't do it unless you really know what you're doing okay because people have a people have a um people have a uh, people have a dumb idea where they'll think like, oh, um, 12 months, no interest. Okay, cool, I'll take the 12 months, no interest. Um, usually the minimum payment will have you paid off in like two years. So like, well, at least I get like a full year of no interest. Wrong, that's not how that works. That is not how that works. If you've got a card or you take it a loan or you finance something, it says 12 months, no interest. What that means is that if you make the minimum payments after 12 months, the balance does not start accruing interest. What that means is that 12 months, all of the old interest that it accrued is now Add it on to your principal and now you start paying like a normal loan, okay? If you're gonna do any of this like 12 month no interest bullshit, it needs to be paid off in the uh, promotional period. Do not carry that balance past the no interest uh, time period or you will be fucked, okay? Um, yeah, don't worry about the credit utilization, just pay all your shit off, okay? F all that. Um, okay. <sighs> yeah, like 30 subscriptions. I don't know. This is you swiping your Apple card or doing Apple Pay, and it's coming up as Apple Bill. You're spending oh, so much what, money. That's what it comes up as. That makes sense. Yes, you're spending so much money on a card that you can't even pay off. Yeah, that's true. Twenty-four point two four percent interest rate. Oh, I didn't know that was included in this. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I got to know this page is included. No, yep. There's your finance Apple, finance Apple, finance Apple. But yeah, that's just the last of my um, my snowball. I know, but you're spending on it. If you're gonna follow the snowball, don't spend on it. Okay. And also, if you're in the snowball trying to get out of debt, we're not going to smoothies every day. We're not going to Uber Eats. We're not but also, I have something to say. August was also hard because it was my first month switching from fan house to passes, so I didn't have a lot of money at the beginning of August. So you put it uh, all the food that wasn't necessary. There wasn't a single necessary purchase on here, so you cannot justify there has to that. Be one. What? There has to be at least one necessary purchase. Let me see. Lemonade. Lemonade insurance. Yeah. One. What is lemonade That's insurance? Two, I have two charges. So yes. Yeah. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. $143 was squeezed from you. Also, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Guys, if you're working class, lower middle class, whatever, do not ever. Uber Eats and DoorDash is like an affront to mankind, okay? Do not do these things ever. It is an unfathomable waste of money, okay? Unfathomable waste of money. Holy AIDS. Squeezed from you in interest. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. We're having this conversation because I'm your friend. I am going to... Your birthday, my introvert is being dragged out on Saturday. Oh. And I'm here to learn. You're here to learn, and this is the conversation I wish someone had with me a decade ago when I was And I'm doing it in the exact same way, tough love that works for me. So, my dude. I'm getting a lot of tough love from your comments. I want to thank today's sponsor, Opus, and this is an exciting one because you could win $1,000. And here's how it works. Opus Clip is an amazing AI tool that will turn any of my videos into a series of viral clips in just a single click. All you have to do is head to the description below and just grab the URL from any of my episodes, then head to opus.pro and sign up for a free account, paste the link, and get a bunch of clips with just one click. Two weeks from today, I will be handing out prizes to whoever has the most views on their YouTube shorts or TikToks. First place prize is $500, second place prize is $300, and third place prize is $100. Then I'm running it back for a second round so that everyone has a second chance to win. And then finally, after the second round, whoever has the most views overall, they get $1,000. The only rule is that you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube channel at and put YouTube Caleb Hammer and hashtag Opus Clip Takeover in the video description slash comments of your post. And make sure you put your Instagram handle in your comments or description so that I can contact you if you win. Good luck to everyone and thanks to Opus for sponsoring this episode. I well, saw, be I nice, somebody, be nice. We, we shouldn't, we... Someone came on because I watched your channel. Obviously, I came, I originally came to your channel and came on the first time because I watched your channel. Um, for like a minute and I was like, oh, he's from Michigan? No, I'm from Michigan and I live in Austin. Anyways, that's the point. That's how I found you in the first place. And then I saw um, someone else go on your channel. Yeah, this is the last segment we're watching and then we're done with this. Like, okay. everyone's been so supportive and helpful in the comments. Y'all are mean to me. <laughs> it's like a video. You guys should always be nice because you're a 
for coming on, trying to get help, giving us an update, putting your situation on display, other people are going to relate to. So everyone should always be nice. There should be a positive, supportive area in the comment section. But I know it's hard. I, I know it's. And that's difficult. okay. I'm a content creator. I'm used to it. But yes, the internet is full of faceless, nameless, and that's something that is unfortunately impossible for anyone to control. But yeah. what's the minimum month payment on this? By the way? Oh, two ninety four. Oh yeah, it is high in Africa. So Here is the real black pill that I will give you, though. Okay. Here is the. Are you ready? Here is the real black pill. Okay. All right. The only reason she can afford to live the type of lifestyle she lives and make the type of financial decisions that she makes is because she's a pretty woman that does sexy work, right? Would be the thing I would say, all right, if I was an incel. The true black pill is realizing that she's not unique and every fucking poor person makes the same retarded financial decisions and it actually has nothing to do with her job it's easy to look at this and then like oh my god um you know she's doing this and she's got um you know she's got like uh simps that are willing to pay for blah 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 bro poor people make the most retarded they do stupid credit cards they put their shit they take their shit to pawn shops and they put it on fucking uh not layaway but you loan it out to the guy they have horrible fucking loans they have stupid fucking credit cards when they max their credit cards out they get their limit extended every working class poor person not everyone but a lot of them have dog shit financial sense okay and we have seen and talked to so many people that do this shit, okay <laughs> just as a heads up all right um mika hawkins twenty dollars destiny while financing a phone through a carrier doesn't have interest or financing fees the only time credit is hit is when you open a new phone plan from the big carrier or if you leave the account to go into collections okay what's the minimum month payment on this by the way oh 294 it, oh yeah it is high on that i forgot losing so much money on that interest dude hello adriana oh so this one's paid off. Mm -hmm. We have a paid off one. How does that feel? It feels good. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really good. So when was this paid off? Um, well, I did pay it off. The in Here's a hard question. So you have 745K in credit card debt. How the fuck do you get out? Every, like, just don't buy shit. Just stop buying shit you don't need. That's it. I'm sorry. It sucks. But like, yeah, when you pay that off, it's like, bro, debt is, having more, debt is worse than being poor, okay? Just debt, f you. It's not good. It's horrible, okay? In June, mm -hmm. but then I used it again. But I paid it off. Um, at the beginning of the month. Destiny, she makes 120K a year and still being month to month, not even remotely comparable to someone makes whatever. Does she make 120K a year? Where was that shown? I doubt that's the case. If I had to guess, she's probably making around 80 a year. That'd be my guess. Do you pay it off? I could time? be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Does it ever accrue interest? Um, I don't think no, so. No, no, there was no interest charge. So, cool. you know, I'd be also, keep in mind, she's a contractor, okay? Meaning that she's instantly losing 35% to taxes, probably, depending on how much she's expensing, but nervous with where you've been to do credit cards and stuff like that because you can easily fall into a trap. Wait, this is different. This is American Express. Yeah, so, oh, uh, I can't see the interest. I don't think Almost so. Almost kind of tastes like a Hot Pocket. Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> you can back to that. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, so I'm nervous about credit cards with you. Nervous. But, Obviously. But, well done. Thank this you. This is good. This is, we can celebrate this. This okay, is fantastic. Okay, we're celebrating with the taquito. Yeah, the taquito. Absolutely. I don't like that you spent money on it, but it's okay. it was like, goops and gags, I get it. Yeah. It was, it's a business write-off. It's in the video. So the Amex. Yeah, you charge us 293. Why the, it's your last snowball, but why are we putting money on it? Why are we putting money on it? Because a lot of things are like already hardwired to auto pay to that. Change it. It takes two seconds of your life. I know. Okay. So. But I'm also scared because go on. what if I auto pay a bunch of things to not a credit card and then I go under, like what's it called? Overdraft. Wait, wait, wait. What if I auto pay things to my debit card? And then also, okay, we we take this financial advice with a grain of salt, okay? Take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt because it might not be true for everybody, but I feel like I've ran into this before, okay? Be very, very, very careful which bills you've got set to auto pay on a credit card because I think there are certain types of bills that if you pay them with a credit card, they're actually counted as cash advances and you can get dinged with like a 20% upfront fee on top of your uh, annual percentage rate for whatever the interest is. Um, wait, is APR annual? Yeah, uh, yeah. Be very, 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 very careful about that. I think at one point in time, I think I was like paying my rent for my apartment or I was paying something on like a credit card thinking like, oh cool, I'm getting a ton of free points. But when I went and checked my balance, it was treated as a, I think it was treated as a cash advance. It wasn't treated as just like purchasing, it was a cash advance. Um, meaning that not only do you have the normal interest that will accrue, you, you're paying a cash advance fee upfront. Um, yeah, be very, very, very careful with that. It, no, no, it's because you always, I would always have $1,000 in your checking account. Okay. What? That's not the case right now. I have like 500 as of today. Okay, so I would just try to get to a point where we have $1,000 in your checking account. Okay. Uh, the minimum monthly payment on this, I'm trying to figure out. 
The minimum monthly payment um, last time was expensive because you're gonna be mad. It was $300 over the limit. It was. But I just see, paid it off. See, see, that's, you may as well overdraft at that point. Overdraft would be worse. Because clear, you, you know why? Reversed. Because I did this, clear. It, it does thing? every year, yeah. Where you go. Prime. I know, but if your balance was right there to begin with, dude. It's but like, because ooh. it got charged yearly, I didn't prepare for that. There just shouldn't, you should, but all these other ones that are on here anyway shouldn't be there. Oh, you know why clear is on there? Because I got an American Express deal where it was like 50% off the first year if you use your American Express card. So I was like, okay, sure. Cool, that's great. She has clear? How much is she traveling? Is clear 100 bucks a year or 300 bucks a year? $100 every four years? No shot, it's that cheap. 190 per year, okay. That's awesome, but we still have Prime Video, uh, another Prime thing. Uh, Amazon Prime and your Google Storage on here. Again, if we didn't have these recurring charges on here in the minimum, the payments would at least be slowly paying this down, and then maybe at that point, when a $259 charge comes in, sure, it'd bring it up, but would it go over the balance? Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah. That's, but you're, you're putting on here, dude. That, so what's your minimum monthly payment? Credit card's offered as a credit, it's a reward. Well, it sounds like she got charged for it this time. On this, because I can't, I can't see it. I would say like 300. Okay, we'll say 300. And I don't know how much. Hamstruck, I saw the post. I don't need to go through all of Hassan's likes on Twitter. Thank you, I see it, I thank you, I've seen it. I thank you, I've seen it. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Accept the challenge. Holy shit. Let's find a job. You're running out of money fast. Wait. Warehouse, second shift. Looking for a dependable, punctual, and hardworking warehouse associates. Must be able to lift 20 pounds and have reliable transportation. 12 p.m. to 7 p.m.? Okay. Join our team. Experience server needed at casual restaurants with a fast-paced and fun atmosphere. Apply in person, Tuesday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. Office temp. Know your way around an office. We're hiring for temporary workers all over the area. Admin experience and attention details must. 15 an hour. Hours vary. Uh, the warehouse job is the obvious one. Um, uh, Tuesday through Friday? What kind, what kind of... You're working a tip job and you're not letting me work Saturdays? F*** you. And hours vary? I'm gonna have to fight the... You're gonna have to fight the nepotism staff that already have Friday night shifts called? F*** that. Restaurant jobs? If they're not giving you Friday, Saturdays, these are, these are the only days you make money. You're gonna give me work three hours? Two to five? People aren't even off work yet? Hell no. Um... Temp work, 15 an hour is nice, it's easy work, uh, but like temporary, also hours vary, f that. Guaranteed hours, 14 an hour is solid, second shift job, warehouse job, easy. That's the easy choice. All of your repetitive pain can be brutal on your body. Okay, it's, we're fine, all right? Now we don't even have to go to the gym, we're getting a twofer here, okay? Portal care requires you get health insurance. The good news, your child is covered by the state, the bad you aren't. Which plan do you want? Gold plan, silver plan, bronze plan. Bro, bronze me up, the fuck? I'm not getting Medicare, or Medicare, Medicaid? I don't get Medicaid? I'm, I'm doing one job, 14 hour, I got a kid? You're telling me I don't qualify for Medicaid? Bullshit. We bronze that shit. Result, even the most basic plan under the ACA covers more than you could have gotten before, but at almost $76 a paycheck, this is no free ride. Find a place to live. Wait, where's like my, do I see like my budget? Bro, 760 a month to live 50 miles away? This is taking into like travel costs? Bro, if I can live right next to my job, I don't even need a car. I wanna live right the outside. We can probably move like, also, this should be this sliding scale shouldn't be uh, linear. It should be um, like something different. I don't think it would be logarithmic. I don't know, but whatever. Um, fine, put me right next to my place. You can bike or walk to work, but you won't be able to ditch the car together. Like more than forty-five percent of Americans, your access to public. Transit is too limited to go totally carless. Why? What the f- I live right next to work. What else do I need? I got work, I got my house, I got my computer games. Your new apartment is too small for your stuff. What do you do? Rent a storage unit, have a yard sale, ask a friend to store it. Bro, sell that shit. Sell that shit. You sold a bunch of stuff but made 150 bucks? 
file oh cash money in the bank and i got less bullshit in my house your family had a sick and won't get a treatment see ya pay for treatment no have it put to sleep 50 bucks to put it to sleep bro <laughs> throw it in the backyard oh my god we're not gonna let it suffer listen pets are novelties okay we don't have the money for that right now goodbye doggo your child's been invited to a birthday party they need to bring a present buy the present send your kid without a present keep your kid home from the party bro write him a nice card and make some fucking arts and crafts how old is our fucking kid here christ i can't have my kid looking like he's a fucking broker take a present i guess damn your credit card kept you afloat while you're trying to hold on to your home but even though the house is gone the balance is it what do you do pay it off pay the minimum ignore it well what happens if i go into debt here obviously i can't pay off seventy three hundred dollars What the fuck am I, what is this? Wait, I don't know what my monthly expenses are right now. Because if I, if I can't afford food, I'll call the credit card company, we'll negotiate some shit, okay? We'll pay the minimum, I guess, Christ. Well, because what happens if I default on my card? Nothing, who the fuck cares? How, much, how many more days do I have left? Day seven? Do I get any more money? When is my first paycheck? Is it on day 14? Oh, shit. Bro, I can't afford this right now. Sorry. Ignoring your bill makes your credit card plummet. So you have a harder time finding a job or getting a loan. I already got a job, baby. I don't need a loan right now, okay? I'm fucking broke. You've been working for several hours and you're starving, but you forgot your lunch. What do you do? Buy a salad? Buy a burger from the dollar menu? What? Buy a salad? Bro, have these people not been poor before? Why the fuck would I buy a $6 300 calorie salad when I could go get like two double cheeseburgers that's at least 700 calories why the fuck would I buy a salad I'm a brokey bro give me that give me that burger from the dollar menu healthy food is expensive you think a salad counts as healthy food a bunch of fucking iceberg lettuce and ranch and not always easy to access which is why poverty can dramatically increase your risk for hypertension type 2 diabetes and other health problems that sounds like an old person problem okay we're trying to survive i don't have time to think about hypertension hypertension just means you save more money in retirement because you die sooner get me out of here your tooth has been hurting for weeks and it's starting to get unbearable you need a root canal but you don't have dental insurance Fuck that teeth pain and teeth shit i'm not gonna be able to get any bitches if my teeth are falling out <laughs> we gotta get that fixed sorry we're going into debt you ran out of money on day nine. Give $10 to help someone. Give $10 to help someone living spent. What does this mean? Donate now. You ran out of money on day nine. Wait, does this person think that, do they think that the, the world ends when you have $0 in your bank account, my friend? <laughs> I lost? Wait, I... <laughs> oh, spent is an acronym from the site. <sighs> okay. Second shift. Weekly pay. Cheapest plan. I guess we were living 50 miles away. Whatever the f that means I'm just curious how far you can go your new apartment is too small so we sell it make some money your grandfather has passed away <laughs> he's gonna be dead in two years we'll go memorialize him then fuck that your mom needs crucial medication M mom hello medicare ask dad go on tinder Fuck you, pay for your own shit. Your car's registration is due, it'll cost $250 to get it road legal. It's a fix it ticket, okay? For the first 30 days at least, we'll take our chances. $100 late fee for waiting. And if you get pulled over, you're looking at $1,500 to get your car back? Bro, what cop is gonna impound your car for late registration? That's gotta be the most dick cop in the world. Jesus. Yeah. Maybe. My registration is like seven months ex or seven years expired right now, so. You gotta be careful with that. They have auto readers here. Good. Okay. 
Your bathroom sink is a small leak that just became a big leak. Your landlord won't return your calls. What do you do? Why the f would I call a plumber? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm just renting the space from you, motherfucker. Why the fuck would I, why the fuck would I call a plumber for your shit? Need cash? <gasps> oh my god, we can donate plasma? Get a payday loan. Oof. Wait, I didn't even see this shit. Why does our kid have a piggy bank? Let your dad get rich and then I'll give you the money back later. Damn. Wait, does the piggy bank grow every month? 1623. We'll fix it ourselves. Oh. Police officer spotted your expired registration. Your car has been impounded and it'll call. Bro, no shot. Your car, my, my registration is two days expired. Well, did I call the cop the N word? How the f is he impounding my car? Also, how does an impounded car cost $1,500 to get back? Two, you got me in two days, bro? I'm the unluckiest working class motherfucker ever. Bro, no shot. That's a racist cop. I bet my character's black and the cop was on some fucking Chauvin shit. And I had like a, I've got like a Save George Floyd's bumper sticker. And so the cop had a fucking ax to grind with me. There's no shot this just happened, okay? No shot my car i don't need that shit anyway keep it motherfucker. i'll walk to work no comments you can't get to work oh wait oh f we fucked up i forgot because we moved 50 miles <laughs> okay f this game all right 